Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Happy New Year. I cannot believe it's 2024. I hope this year is nothing but blessings and happiness for you. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me today. We have got a good old-fashioned eyeshadow palette ranking. These are all the palettes that I tried for the month of December. So if you like eyeshadow palettes, rankings, indie brands, then please subscribe to my channel and stick around for today's video. Let's just jump into it with number six. This this one right here this is let me just preface this by saying also all these palettes are amazing i did this ranking it was nearly impossible based off just you know personal preference color stories how often i reach for it things like that coming in at number six this is the fatally yours palette from milk cosmetics they finally did a collaboration with bailey sarian and this is the inside the reason why it's coming in last is just because the other palettes have beautiful shimmers in here but i reach for this one constantly i mix it with my cleona singles that i purchased during black friday so this was just like the perfect combo i love the sexy grungy vibes with this palette it you just need a little bit and you get max pigmentation and whenever I see this color story, I just think of Bailey, so they know that they did an amazing job. Number five, this one is the Aurora Lights palette from Simply Posh Cosmetics. I love the theming, the Aurora Lights. It's so beautiful. The packaging's lovely. And the color story, it is very colorful, bold, bright. Not something I reach for all the time, but the formula is lovely. And I have really enjoyed the eye looks that I create with this palette. So yeah, I'm just, uh, I really do enjoy it. And I love the shade Polar. I like how it grounds the palette and I like how they included a black they're just oh they're so pretty and sparkly and shifty they are all beautiful duo chromes in there number four this is the earth wizards palette from mica beauty shop this is the newest one to my collection but i've created so many looks with it so i felt very confident ranking it because i've tried all these shades in here but this is like i said earth wizards from mica beauty shop they did send this one over and so was the simply posh palette they sent that one as well this is a color story i like how it's like jewel tones with grungy vibes i love the shimmers I like the layout of the palette. There's something very aesthetically pleasing about it, about it, but I will say the shimmers, they are the squishy, textured, wet feeling. They're very intense shifts. They have sparkles. They are wonderful. This is my first time ever trying the brand. I love that we got some of the neutral browns in here and the grungy green and this gray. Those are the mattes I typically go to, and I like to reach into the purples and the blues for like a fun pop. I feel like it's a little repetitive with having two blues and two purples. I would have preferred just to have one blue one purple things like that but honestly it's beautiful and i get the vision now i want to pick up their serpent palette they launched last year i can't even believe i'm saying it it's a new year but they had a lovely grungy just the color store of the serpent palette it's right up my alley so i feel like i might pick that up because now that i've tried the brand i think their quality is exceptional number three this is the lanes of enchantment palette from Inslee rain cosmetics the reason why this one isn't like tippity top it's just because it's a huge palette i love the mirror in here as well um but the color story it's beautiful but it's not something i reach for all the time but the shimmers in here when you think of just like the best shimmer shades ever that's what you get with Inslee rain they're shifty sparkly a lot of them have holographic little sparkles in there they're just lovely there's different textures some are smooth some are chunky some are almost wet filling i love the mix of textures uh, this is a huge palette don't get me wrong but still i've been reaching for it i've been going in with like some neutral shades popping in with some of these shimmers and having some of these mattes it's like a fun pop i love this palette and i'm so so happy that i picked it up and i must say the back is even prettier than the front i literally keep it in my collection stored like this so i can see the beautiful castle i have four palettes on their way not on their way i'm waiting for four palettes to ship from Inslee rain so i'm very impressed with the formula the quality of the brand i just love their shimmers coming in at number two number two and number one were very challenging to rank to me. Number two, this is Fantasia from Davina Cosmetics. I just love me some purples with these peachy tones. The shimmers in here are very luxurious. They're they're like a smooth formula. They don't enhance texture. They're sparkly, shifty. They're very they're color, but they're wearable color shades. I don't know. I can get I have been getting so much use out of this palette. There's just something about it that I feel very inspired. It is 
amazing. Coming in at number one is the palette that I have on my eyes today. This is the Silent Night palette from Gourmand Girls Cosmetics. I, the reason why it came in at number one, obviously I love the color story, but I have been reaching for this constantly. You get so many different looks with this one palette. I like obviously the yellow pop with the gold. I love the combo of having blues and neutral, like blue and browns. I think the neutrals with those blue pops look so pretty. And I must say that the, the, this like little mauve right here, is my everything. I love the white. I love everything about this color story. They really did something very magical with this palette. I cannot stop reaching for it. I love this iridescent shade Frosty right here. Oh, I just, I don't know. This palette, I knew I would like it, but I didn't know exactly how much I would love it and how many different looks I would get out of it. But I'm telling you, this palette right here is beautiful. So, so you're going to have to let me know what palettes you tried last year. <laughs> what palettes did you try in December? Any new ones? Have you been shopping your stash trying to save because of Christmas? January, I feel like we're going to come in hot. I feel like a lot of brands are going to be giving us a whole bunch of beautiful eyeshadow palettes. But that's going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to say thank you so much for being here, subscribing to my channel, supporting me. If you ever use any of my affiliate codes, I appreciate you so much. I also wanted to say leave down below anything I can improve on on my channel, things you would like to see, content. Uh, someone once said that your rankings, your videos would be 100 times better if you included swatches on your rankings. I was like, okay. I never thought of it, but that is actually an excellent idea. So things like that, just sound off below anything that you want to see, content or changes in my channel anything to improve I would love to hear it down below I've just had such a fun year on YouTube and I just want to thank you for hanging out with me and spending your precious time with me and helping my channel grow but that's gonna do it for today's video wherever you are in the world I hope you're doing well I hope that you are healthy happy and safe stay beautiful bye guys